the brightest bulbs in the chandelier, but the movies would be duller without them. Touchy! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 dumbest movie cartoon characters. <laughs> for this list, we're concentrating on not-so-bright cartoon characters created for film, not characters from TV series that later became films. Yeah! And all you want to do is burn and murder stuff. Burn and murder stuff. Number 10. Mitch Down, Paranorman. I guess I should uh, go get some clothes on. Uh. There's dumb jocks, and then there's Mitch, the designated driver of the van in Paranorman. Do you use free weights? Because your deltoids are huge. I've never used deltoids in my life. I swear, you can test me. Kill me now. Unlike a lot of stereotypical dumb jocks, Mitch is a very friendly and decent guy, just more interested in bulking up his muscles than bulking up his brain. What do we do? What do we do? Mitch! I don't know! I don't know! You're the oldest! Not mentally! Paranorman is a movie about not judging people by appearances, so it's appropriate that this applies to Mitch as much as it does to any other character. What? What did you just say? Does anyone know uh, CPR? Or... Run! <laughs> Number nine, Brent McHale, cloudy with a chance of meatballs. I'm the best person in the whole town! Diapers are fine when you're a baby. When you're a grown man, not so much. Glad I'm wearing a diaper. Brent McHale isn't playing with a full deck in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, so he thinks nothing of this strange sartorial choice. I really should be running with these! That's just one example of his cloudy thought processes. And one of the reasons this former spokesperson for Baby Brent Sardines is such a memorable character. I'm not Baby Brent anymore. I'm Chicken Brent! And I'm finally contributing to society! Number 8. LeFou, Beauty and the Beast So, how'd it go? Dopey comic relief henchmen are a staple of movies, animated or otherwise, and LeFou from Beauty and the Beast is one of the best. I've got my heart set on marrying Belle, but she needs a little... Persuasion. <laughs> Turned them down flat. <laughs> His boss, Gaston, is not exactly a brainiac himself. Maybe that's why he keeps him around, to make him look smart in comparison. Gaston is the best, and the rest is all to rip. You could argue that LeFou's dumbest move is to continue taking Gaston's abuse and keep coming back for more. No one! Lots like Gaston takes cheap shots like Gaston. Plans to persecute harmless crackpots like Gaston. Number seven, Roger Rabbit. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Roger, what's this? A tweeting bird. A tweeting bird. Roger Rebus. Look what it says. It says rabbit gets clunked. Rabbit sees stars. Roger Rabbit is operating a few bricks short of a load, which causes a problem for the private investigator trying to save him in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Jim, I'm calling the cops. Go ahead, call the cops. I come here to help, but what do you do? You turn me in. It also doesn't help that Roger is frenzied, hyperactive, and can't quite control himself. <laughs> I just don't believe it. That's bad news for the detective, but good news for audiences, who benefit from watching his wild antics from a safe distance. What games? Don't think I'm the only one for me. You'll see. We'll ride them up this piddling piccadillo. We're gonna be happy again. You got that? Happy. Triple H P P I. Number six, Goofy, the Walt Disney franchise. On John Tame, Mademoiselle. One of Disney's most iconic characters, the beloved Goofy is a prized knucklehead. It's Bigfoot! Could you back up a bit, Mr. Foot? Uh, you're out of focus. An eternal optimist, naive and nice to a fault, this dumb Disney dog has gone from supporting Pooch to main mutt over his career with the House of Mouse. But no matter what he's doing, slapstick comedy invariably ensues. Why are you doing this to me, Dad? Because I don't want you to end up in the electric chair. <laughs> the goof is very slow-witted, but his lack of smarts isn't shown so much by what he says as by what he does. 
All for one and two for tea. So instead of talking about him, we'll just show you. Aye, aye, sir. Bad guy. No. They pulled an axe on me. Number five, Doug Up. My name is Doug. I have just met you, and I love you. Uh, uh. Dogs have a reputation for being lovably idiotic, and Doug from Up demonstrates just how deserved that reputation may be. My master made me this collar. He is a good and smart master, and he made me this collar so that I may talk. Squirrel! My master is good and smart. Loyal, cuddly, friendly, eager to please, and frisky as they come, Doug is also pretty much brainless. Hey, that is the bird. I have never seen one up close, but this is the bird. May I take your bird back to camp as my prisoner? Yes, yes, take it. And easily distracted. Thanks to a special voice box, we are able to hear what passes for thoughts in Doug's brain. And his innocent scattershot thoughts are a delight. I do not like the cone of shame. Number four. Olaf, frozen. Hi, everyone. I'm Olaf, and I like warm hugs. Olaf? People leave Frozen singing Let It Go, but quoting the happily dim-witted snowman Olaf. I like to consider myself a love expert. <laughs> Possessed of a childish sense of wonder and a delight in just being alive, Olaf is seeing the world for the first time. I was just, are you okay? Are you kidding me? I... I'm wonderful! I've always wanted a nose. It's so cute. It's like a little baby unicorn. But, hey, whoa! Oh, I love it even more. His naivete is endless. How is he supposed to know that being impaled is a bad thing? Or that summer is not exactly the best time of year to be a snowman? My snow up against the burning sand, probably getting gorgeously tanned in summer. Number three, Ed the Lion King. What do you think, Ed? <laughs> Laugh and the world laughs with you. Unless you're Ed the Hyena from The Lion King. It's not funny, Ed. <laughs> One of the villainous Scar's evil henchmen. Ed's laughter isn't charming and infectious, it's more disturbing. Ed? <laughs> The definitely dumb hyena is also somewhat insane, which explains his inability to think coherently, but doesn't make him any smarter. Just creepier. Me? I, I didn't know. No, did you? No, of course not! No. Ed? <laughs> Toodles! Number two, Dory finding Nemo. I, I have to find the boat! A boat? Hey, I've seen a boat! You have? Uh-huh, and it passed by not too long ago. A white one? Hi, I'm Dory. Where? Which way? Oh, oh, oh! It, it went, um... Marlin's search for his son may provide the plot for Finding Nemo, but Dory provides a disproportionate share of the laughs. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Dory, no singing. Dory's not necessarily stupid. She's just cursed with the worst case of short-term memory loss the world has ever seen. Can I help you? Something's wrong with you. Her inability to remember things from one moment to the next is an endless source of laughs, but her warmth and loyalty make this scatterbrained blue tang lovable. I'm looking for someone too. Hey, we can look together. I'm Dory. I'm Nemo. Nemo? That's a nice name. Before we reveal our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Let me see. It's another dinosaur, a mean one. I just don't think I can take that kind of rejection. A sudden onset of clarity, Bartok. I'll have to kill her myself in person. What, you mean physically? Hello, Boris. Hello. <laughs> Number one, Kronk Peppy Crankinitz, the Emperor's New Groove. Yeah, I got that there, Isma. Kronk's body is so overloaded with muscle that there simply isn't any room left over for brains. Isma's in your chair, right? Very 
good, Kronk. Here, get the snack. Got it. Grasping concepts isn't exactly his strong suit, nor does he have the greatest attention span. Basket of liver and onion rings, a catch of the day, and a steak cut in the shape of a trout. You got all that, honey? Three oinkers wearing pants, plate of hot air, basket of grandma's breakfast, and change the bull to a gill. Got it. But as Yzma's incompetent henchman in The Emperor's New Groove, he makes stupidity into an art form. Besides, he's basically a good-hearted guy, and who wouldn't love a guy who can speak fluent squirrel? <sighs> Hate being in the middle. Squeaky, uh, squeak, squeaker, squeaking. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Mission accomplished. Well done, man. Pack it up. We're going home. What are your favorite dim-witted movie cartoon characters? For more enthralling top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. <laughs> Well, you don't get much crazier than that! <laughs>